happy Thursday or whatever day of the week it is for you. If you are here after the um, best of 2023 premiere, I hope you had fun. I think that's the first time we've ever done that. I think last year we watched the 2020 or 2022 best of video live on stream and this time we did a premiere and I really liked it. It was super fun. <laughs> I hope you liked it too. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. It's on my channel, the most recent video upload, I think. Um, if you are watching this this week. Mm. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Sarah Miller Cruz. I'm the English voice of Lumine and Genshin Impact, among other things. And I'm super excited. We're gonna play more Genshin today. Yay! <laughs> um, but before we get started, I do want to thank uh, my wonderful mods. Thank you to Archie and Brandon and Crazy and Crisp and Crammon and Xander. And a special thank you to Xander for the wonderful time codes. And then also, thank you to Xander for becoming a member for 30 months. What? And thank you to Brandon also for becoming a member for 30 months. What? Wild! Blows my mind. Blows my mind. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and Glenn, thank you for becoming a member for 19 months. That's so many months. Like, I still feel like I started YouTube like yesterday. So <laughs> I'm always like, what? 30 months? That's wild. That's almost three years. What? <laughs> I can't be right. Is that right? Have I been streaming for that long? I don't know. Um, oh my gosh, Kraven, thank you for renewing your membership for 28 months. Woo! I feel like maybe that was as long as I've had my channel, but I didn't, I was streaming on Twitch for a little bit. Have I, oh my gosh, the time has flown. Who knows what time is anymore? None of us know. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, amazing. Um, okay, so I was so excited about the premiere that um, I did not make a plan for what we were gonna do today, so I might make a poll for us. Um, also, before we get started, I do want to say some other special thank yous. If you watch the best of 2023 video, you will have seen some wonderful animations, and those were pieces were animated by two of my amazing mods, um, Archie, aka I Only Date 2D Boys, and Star, aka Studi Shooting Starfish. And then the video was edited together by another one of my wonderful mods, Crisp. Uh, and then um, Star also made the adorable thumbnail. So um, I think I, or at least it should have like linked to their accounts on um, the video description. So yeah, make sure to give them some love in that way or in the server I tagged them. You can be like, yeah, they're amazing. Um, okay, so, oh, I see. I was wondering about if we should do the kitty cat event. Should we do a poll or should we just do it? Because I feel like maybe we should just do it. If y'all want the cat event, because I didn't realize that was happening until Kramen told me and then I was like, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yay! Okay, everyone's saying yes to cats. So we're just gonna do cats. Um, Paimon did say something about cats. Buff. Oh. Okay. It's, it's fine. Is it this? I think it's this. Okay. Erin, Arya, thank you for becoming a member. Woohoo! Okay, let's, oh gosh, go all the way back to Bonstadt. Is this where we started the game? 
Is this where we started the game? I feel like it is. Isn't it? Yeah, we started right over here. Uh, what? Whoa, okay. Let's go this way back to Mondstadt. It'll be very nostalgic for all of us. Do y'all feel that way? Because I feel that way. Do you feel that way when you go back to Mondstadt that you're like, oh, I feel so nostalgic for the beginning. Boop. <laughs> okay. Here's a question for y'all. So I'm already sensing that this stream is going to be chaotic. So let's just go with the flow here. But my question for you is, um, what is everyone's, oh, oh. Okay, what is, ah, no, uh, Lumine, stop. Oh my gosh, she just wants to climb trees. Oh gosh. Um <laughs> chaotic. <laughs> chaotic. Um okay, here's a question for all of you. If you were going to live in one region into that that has been released so far. What region would you live in? Nuh uh. Nuh uh, you just made me climb a tree for no reason. Cool. Sometimes these things, I'm like, are you kidding? A reward on the road. A reward on the road. Okay, so I'm seeing. Mondstadt, a lot of Mondstadt. Uh, let's see. Oh, I see some Inazuma. <laughs> Inazuma, but only if you like won't get struck by lightning. <laughs> Ooh, I see some Fontaine. Okay, those of you who are choosing Fontaine, is it because of the swimming? Do you want to be able to swim underwater? Oh, someone said Inazuma because of their light novel and manga. Hmm, I like that answer. That's a very good answer. They're all good answers. I feel like a lot of people are saying Mondstadt, and correct me if I'm wrong, y'all, but I feel like Mondstadt is yeah. so nostalgic for some people, for a lot of us. Like, it's like, aw, home, you know? Yeah. Is that why y'all would pick Mondstadt, or is it because of the wine? Be honest. <laughs> is it because of the wine? Kawaii Con was so good. I had such a good time. It was so amazing. Um, I hope one day I will be able to go back because it was so much fun. Um, last week or the week before, one of the most recent weeks, I was in Hawaii for Kawaii Con. And it was so fun. And then at the beginning of May, I am going to be um, in Liverpool for a convention. So if you live over on that side of the ocean, I would love to meet you. So come say hi. <sighs> oh my gosh. Uh, I did get so many wonderful little gifts and um, Precious Nightwalker just said, come back and I'll give you more stuff. But no, I loved all the gifts that I got, I think. <laughs> I 
I have this little one on my shelf, on my Lumine shelf. So cute. You know what I've noticed that nobody has said in terms of the region they want to live? You know what I've noticed? The chasm. The fortress of Meripede. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why no one wants to live in the chasm. Oh, looks like Margaret is talking with those two people over there. <gasps> Wait, is that Rosaria? Huh, she's standing next to an adventurer Paimon doesn't recognize. Oh, fancy that. <laughs> it's Rosaria. Hmm. So interesting. Wow, Rosaria. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to continue with this event. But I just want y'all to know, those of you who suggested this event, thin ice. You are on thin ice. I have my eye on you. I have my eye on you. <laughs> I'm gonna say, think she's also here to play with some cats? Think she's, think she's also here to play some cards? Is this a card event or a cat event? Say no more, Valerina. I'll continue to help you out just as Victoria requested. Look after the cats, check up on their health, give them a bath. These are all things well within my capabilities. Okay, first of all, Give a cat a bath? That is notoriously a thing that no one is capable of, or very few people. Or or at least, like, very few cats will let you do this. So wait, let, let's hold on for a second here. What do you mean, give them a bath? What do you mean, give them a bath? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Oh, Xander says, my cats don't mind it. Okay. Oh, hi, Remy. <laughs> Remy was like, are you talking about cats? Remy's kind of a cat. Come here. Come here. Oh, let me pick him up. Okay, yes. Hi, Remy. Okay, let's... Okay, hold on. I, okay. Hi, Remy, Bemmy. Um... you fall off the bed um remy uh, remy had to have a little procedure done last week so he's getting lots of extra attention and snuggles and treats because she had to he's on medication but he's okay but he's okay now he's just been sleepy He's been sleepy because of his, um, meds. Hi. Um, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I got distracted. I got so distracted. All right, let's give him a treat. You want a treat? Is that better? There you go. Okay, you can have one too. I'm also dog sitting another dog. <laughs> so he was like <laughs> Okay. Okie dokie. Alright. Okay. Oh. Come. Remy is very much a sleepy cat, so this actually is like on brand for this cat stream. That doesn't solve our biggest problem though, Miss Rosaria. The cats have been so anxious. If we can't get them to trust us, they're sure to get sick from all the anxiety. We just opened, and the Furball Fortress is already about to go under. Well, panicking certainly isn't going to solve the problem. The fact is, neither of us has a way with cats. That's not something I can change. Hi, Rosaria! I thought Rosaria 
it just said she does have a way with cats. I'm so confused. Sounds like you're all really worried about something. Don't worry, we have a way with cats. Our cat saviors, they've appeared already. Uh, Are we the cat saviors? saviors? Uh, seems a bit sudden considering we just met. Sounds like a title we'll have to live up to. I smell a commission coming. I'll try to keep it short. My name's Valerina, and I really like small animals. Recently, I've been trying to set up a shelter for stray cats. I call it the Furball Fortress. The Furball Fortress! I thought Fortress. it would be a good way to rescue those poor animals that have nowhere to go. Plus, getting them off the streets will improve the overall environment and look at the city. It's a win-win. The sisters over at the church heard about my plans and sent over the kindly Miss Rosaria to help. I wouldn't exactly describe myself as kindly. I just accepted the assignment from Victoria. After all, I was the only one with any knowledge of medicine, or the spare time to help. Well, it seems like you've got quite the plan, Valerina. Thanks for bringing us up to speed. Mm-hmm. So, what had you so worried just now? Are you short on Mora? Are you missing something you need? No, I've got more than enough Mora. The funds, the location, the supplies, all the various procedures. They've all been settled. The main problem is, um, the cats. They, uh, keep swatting at me. Oh, no! They're always hissing and swatting. They won't let me approach them, not even with treats. <sighs> the cats are afraid of me as well. They run away the minute I'm in the vicinity. Oh, I wonder why. I've heard <laughs> something like this before. There's something about certain people that just makes cats afraid. Huh. A kind-hearted cat rescuer who doesn't get along with cats. Hmm. Seems like just visiting the cat's tail would be enough to leave you flustered, let alone running your own cat shelter. That's why we consulted an expert. But Miss Margaret wasn't able to offer a solution to our problem. She's short on workers, so she couldn't spare anyone to help us either. She did give us one piece of advice, though. To enlist the help of the honorary knight and their trusty helper in white. We had just wrapped up our conversation, and the next thing we knew, you two appeared before us like saviors sent by Lord Barbados himself. Well, maybe we were. Well, Paimon's not sure how much Lord Barbados would know about taking care of cats. But that aside, we've never even worked at a shelter before, but somehow we've been turned into the saviors of the entire operation. It's perfect timing, though, no? We were just talking about playing with cats. Well, that's true. Even if Paimon has no experience working at a shelter, she's confident she can get on their good side just fine. Aww. Like, that's all we need to do here, right? We just need to show Valerina and Rosaria how to get friendly with the cats, and everything else should fall into line. Feel free to focus your efforts on Valerina. Oh. Just call me if any of the cats need medical attention. Okay. Okay, so hmm. you don't want help. If you all can keep the shelter running with minimal effort on my part, this errand might turn out to be a good use of my time after all. It's better than church activities in any case. Ah, so that's why you agreed to help. You just wanted to shirk your church duties. Well, I guess I should show you around first. Follow me, you two. Let's make our way to the Furball Fortress. Okay, let's go to the Furball Fortress. Let's see what these Fatui have to say. Sorry. The prophecy in Fontaine. The prophecy in oh Fontaine. no, what's happened now? this are there no secrets in the fatui wow they're just talking about that the gnosis in like full earshot of anyone do they not care
was the biggest space I could find in the city over the past few weeks. The rent is cheap, so that's a plus. A half a year's worth of rent, along with all the cat's tail inspired furnishings, only cost me a few million mora. Oh! Of course, not all of the cats will be staying indefinitely. We plan to offer some of the healthy ones up for adoption. As long as yeah, the new future owners... Yeah, how do I get a cheap place like that to live? The cat seems like a good fit. They're welcome to take their new pet back to a loving home. This location is definitely good enough. We could even expand the business one day and start sheltering stray dogs, foxes, or even squirrels. Oh. When that day comes, though, I'll probably have to think of a different name. I don't huh. think all those animals Maybe will get along. Furball and Friends Fortress would be a better fit. <laughs> I would suggest letting all of this play out first. You still don't know if the customers will even get along with the strays. Huh? Look over there! That cat is staring at us! Oh, it's the little white cat. She's super afraid of people. She ran away when we tried to give her a bath. It took us forever to track her down again. She looks so soft and clean, and her fur is so white and fluffy, just like fresh fallen snow. Wait, that's perfect! We should call her Snowball! Tofu would also be a good fit. Hmm. Pudding isn't a bad choice either. Ooh, those are some good names, Traveler. But Paimon thinks she likes Snowball best. Cute. Here, kitty kitty. That's it, Snowball. Good kitty. That's a good kitty. It, it's been, what, a minute? And you already got the cat to listen to you. This is Did so cute. That, I love this. I love this, I love this event. She's a miracle worker. You really are a cat whisperer. Oh no. Ah, uh, there was nothing. They may be strays, but as long as you give them a good name and call them with love, you're sure to gain their trust eventually. Aww. First things first, though, you gotta pay attention to the way you interact with them. Um. This is so cute. Basically, it all comes down to your demeanor. For example, you can't just stand there trembling in fear, Valerina. If you're afraid, the cats are sure to become afraid as well. As for you, Rosaria, you might want to keep an eye on your, uh, facial expressions. These poor creatures, picked up off the streets, given a name, and they now have a loving home. Fate is kind to even the lost souls who have wandered astray. This city really has brought peace and happiness to us all. Aww. Aww. This is so cute. Hey, Snowball is snuggling up to Rosaria. Looks like she's not afraid of her anymore. Did Rosaria just smile? I saw it too. We should pretend like we didn't see anything. No matter. There are more important things to focus on. Anyway, it's getting a bit stuffy in here. I I'm going to go get some air. Call me if you need me. Huh. Paimon thought Rosaria would be happier about that. Please, teach me more of your ways, honorary knight. And you too, oh great cat whisperer. We're sure to get more and more strays coming to the Furball Fortress, and I doubt all of them will be as friendly as Snowball. There's still so much I don't know about interacting with them. No problem. Just watch and learn. It's about time we move on to a more advanced lesson. How to get the cats not to just trust you, but to like you. It's all about patience. As long as you put in the effort to get to know them, you'll become best friends in no time. Aww. I completely understand. The Furball Fortress is still in its trial phase, so... The more I can learn at this stage, the better. So I really like cats. 
but I am slightly allergic, so I can't own any cats. But I love cats, and I like meeting and like hanging out with my friend's cat. But... Yeah, I can't own any. Very sad. I owned one when I was younger, and then I found out I was allergic, and we kept the cat, because... He was our cat at that point, so I just suffered through uh, the allergies. But then um, after he passed away, I had to sadly not get any more cats. But I have a lovely cat dog, Remy, now. He's the best of both worlds. <laughs> Remy actually loves cats. So if I, go if I was not allergic to cats, Remy would like love a cat friend. He loves, loves, loves cats. Um, but unfortunately for him, uh, it is me. I am slightly allergic. And by slightly, I mean very allergic. I'm just not the type of allergic where like, if I touch a cat, I'm like breaking out in hives. Um, but if I spend too much time with a cat, I have an allergic reaction. Okay, I'm not reading this. Oh, I can't see it. since I can't actually see any of the things on the left. But, um, hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Wait. 
Well, now what? A most astute observation. Uh, hold on. I'm a little bit lost. I, the honorary knight, will fulfill my mission, no matter its nature. The defense of the cats of Mondstadt is one of my many responsibilities. I suppose we'll have to pay more attention going forward. Since when haven't I paid close attention to cute kitties? these areas petted. What about this area? Oh! Okay, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, the way they jump. Should I try this again? I'm like, I don't even know.
love Mona. Professor Magistus, that is not how you pronounce it. Try roaring at it, like, ROAR! It's okay, take your time. There are many more furry felines in this fortress. Aww, this event is so cute. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. Yay! I don't know how I'm doing this because I really can't see anything. Uh-oh. They're all gonna get steak. Okay, so you don't like that part. Okay, okay, that's fine. to inseparable, but I'm scared. Because at any point, this cat could turn against me. Should I try the tail? Should I try this again? Oh, now it's okay! The ears you don't like, the ears you do not like, and that is fine. I 
Are we inseparable yet? <gasps> Yay! Just like terrified. I was spending the whole reason, like the whole time, like terrified. <gasps> Razor! Are they gonna be best friends? This is so cute. I love this event. I gave you half of my portion, remember? <laughs> no sweat. You can still eat triple what you ate before. Meow. I love it. Am I... Is there more? So a lot of Mondstadt buildings have this thing where the second level is just nothing but a balcony. It, I have a lot of questions. that for now. Let's talk business. Well done indeed. A commendable spirit. Cat Whisperer Paimon.
probably be better if I could, um... Interesting. I'm almost there. this event. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Maybe you like your tail? You do! did not like their tails pet but you do This is so cute. Dopey! Nothing wrong with that. Let me give it a whirl too. I, the great cat conjurer, sincerely pay my humble respects. Give it to me first. Those electro slimes will be no match once I have donned 
Penop Penopoly? Pen what is this word? Does anyone know what this word is? Penopoly? Let's look it up. Panoply! A complete or impressive collection of things. A splendid display. A complete set of arms or suit of armor. Panoply. Panoply. Okay. Those electro slimes will be no match once I have donned this panoply of war. <laughs> okay, this is the last one for today. Is Oz outside? talk to us. I'm not reading that. I only wanted to hear Huffman talk. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this was so fun. Okay, so we finished all of the cat event that we can do today. I don't think we can do any more today, but... Well, I won't be streaming before it ends, so I might do the last kitten on my own. Um, okay. Should I do my commissions? For funsies? I haven't done them in so long. Or should I unlock all of these things in the desert? Should I do commissions or should I unlock all of these waypoints in the desert? And like this one. Because I like mostly got... I got like a ton in Fontaine. Okay, I feel like people are saying waypoints, so we should do waypoints. Okay. Let's, should I try to get this one first? It's the Sumeru music, it's so good. Wait, isn't this in the, um, like, Aranara area? And I could not figure out where it was. This is the waypoint that I, or the statue of the seven that I could not figure out because it's locked behind the quest still, isn't it? 
Isn't this one locked behind a quest still? <laughs> Is this an answer from this world? Is this an answer from this world? Perfect. There we go. Hey, birds. Okay, so we unlocked this. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed now that I'm looking at how many things I need to unlock. But it's okay! I believe in us! Ugh. Wait. Wait. No. Okay. I feel like it's better if I go up. Okay. I feel like I just I just have this feeling that it's up. I don't know why, and it could be wrong. Oh no! I thought this was a way to climb up. Okay. That's fine. This is fine. Am I stuck? Okay. So while we're climbing, I feel like I'm not going anywhere, but it's fine. Um, okay, so on TikTok. I have been seeing all of these videos about Swedish candy. Have y'all been seeing these videos about Swedish candy? Please don't fall. Um, but I didn't want to order them online because they seemed really expensive but there was a store near me that sells them and i went and i got them and i tried them and they were so good oh no oh no yay What direction is it? Oh, it's this direction. <laughs> Don't attack me. Okay. No! Ah! <laughs> I just want to find the teleport waypoint. <laughs> a sinking suspicion that it's not even up here. <laughs> They're called bubs. I climbed all this way for nothing. Wait, no, there it is! Okay.
from this world is this an answer from this world yeah so i got bobs and they're like they have like a circular one and a skull looking one and i got some of those and i tried them and they were very colorful and they're very good okay so the only reason that i wanted to try them was because everyone said that they the texture was different than like american gummies and i would agree most of the gummies that I have are very, like, I don't know how to describe it well, but, like, um, like, very uh, elastic, if that makes sense. So, like, when you uh, bite into it, it's very, like, stretchy. And I would say that the bubs are more, like, pillowy. Like, it's like a gummy plus, like, a marshmallow almost. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Um, I haven't tried all the flavors because... Aha! There you are! I think, I could be wrong, but I think the Swedish candy ones are less processed than normal American, uh, like, gummy candy, but I could be wrong. Um... I don't know if it's like Japanese candy. I've never been to Japan, but I want to go to Japan so badly. So. Um. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I know what to do. I know what to do. Stabilize. <laughs> no! A mistake was made. I made a mistake. Okay. Okay. Brace yourselves. Marshmallow, and I feel personally like Sour Patch Kids has a very like elasticity type of gummy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I really liked them. Let's begin. No, no, <laughs> let's not. No, let's not begin. No, let's not begin. Go away! I don't want to begin! How do I undo the beginning? I would like to undo the beginning! Darn it. I think I have to go this way.
<laughs> I hope they didn't see me. Um, speaking of candy, when I was in Hawaii, they have these candies called noms, which are so good. They're so good. So good. Have any of you had noms before? Oh, no, I'm gonna die. Wait. And then also, okay, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's, um, like, Lihing. It's like a type of like like <sighs> spice I guess you would say that are on like they all have like like they'll have like ma dried mango with like the, the this on it and it is so they were so good I had dried mangoes with the leaking on it and it was so good I want to go back just to get more noms and more of the dried mango because it was delish. I said it right? Yay! You know what this reminds me of? And it only reminds me of this because I recently watched the movie. But have you seen Dune? This kind of reminds me of Dune, because it's a big desert, and Dune is in a desert. That's really the only connection. And maybe the music, because the music in Dune is really good, and the music in Sumero in the desert is really good. <sighs> they just sell bags of it, of the leaking, and you put it on whatever? Okay, PK, what is the best thing that you've ever had it on? Like, what's your favorite thing? Says there are these candies that are like a leaking seed and sugar. That sounds amazing! Faster. Why is the sand beating me up? I was just Would letting gliding be faster. Okay, you know what? Oh my gosh, okay, I'm leaving. Oh my gosh. That is so rude. Ooh, shaved ice. Yes. I had shaved ice when I was in Hawaii. It was so good. We had it with, okay, okay. We, my brother and I got shaved ice and we had it with, okay, please tell me if I'm saying it wrong, but is it, um, 
Azuka beans, maybe? Um, I, I can't really remember, but I think that's what it was. And then also little mochi um, on top of it. And then also this like, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like, it was like coconutty, but it was like a gelatin almost. Mm. And condensed milk. Mm. Azuki beans. That sounds more right. <laughs> Chocolate gravy and biscuits. That sounds so good. Okay, I feel like I love, well, as you know, I like sweets, but. Peaceful moments. Peaceful moments. Um. I feel like I have really grown an appreciation for fruit desserts. No, everyone leave me alone. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! No, 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 don't do that. Eye of the Sands. Okay, let's go this way. I also feel like, okay, do any of y'all have this thing where I will have like something that's like a favorite and then I only want to eat that thing and then like maybe like a couple weeks into having like that one thing a lot I'm like oh I'm over it but then it'll come back it'll come back but like do you know what I'm talking about like like I'm trying to think of an example oh like because I got this Swedish candy I'm like eating it all the time. I'm like, yum, I love the Swedish candy. It's all I want. But like, probably in like two weeks, I'll be like, meh. <laughs> I'll be like, meh. And I'll want something else. But then it, eventually I'll, it'll come back and I'll be like, ooh, you know what sounds really good? Swedish candy. <laughs> For me, the want comes back if I stop eating it. Like, if I stop, if I don't, like, force myself to eat it, it'll come back. For me. For me, personally. It's like, it's like with breakfast foods, you know, like some, some, there will be like a, a, a period of time where like all I want is like, I don't know, breakfast tacos. And then I'll get to a point where I'm like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> um, but it'll come back. It always does for me, <laughs> at least. Is there a... <gasps> Yay. I would like you. <gasps> Oreos are so 
good. Actually, I was at a family member's wedding recently and at the like, af like, I don't know. I haven't been to that many weddings, but I have noticed that at the m weddings I have been at, there's this thing where it's like, there's like food at the wedding, but then there's like after the wedding food. Yeah. There's food for like at the very, very end of the night. And um at the family wedding I was at recently, they had deep fried Oreos. No, it's not like at the reception. Like there is a reception and there's like music and like food but then like after the music's done oh no oh no oh no oh no leave me alone no i'm talking about oreos that is way more important than this also did i see that crazy popped by for a second there crazy I feel like crazy pop by just to go noms. <laughs> and I registered it in my head, but then I was like, I should say something, say hi to crazy, but then I got distracted by something. So I didn't. What? Uh. Yeah! Got her! Yeah! star character i love them all they're all so amazing do you have a favorite five star character crystal let me know uh crazy what's your favorite dessert since you're here what's your favorite dessert since we're in the desert <laughs> get it get it do you get it do you do y'all get it <laughs> Just kidding. I know you get it. Ice cream rain rainbow sh oh that was really hard for me to say for some reason. Rainbow sherbet. Is <laughs> sherbet like the same as sorbet? No. Sherbet is like creamy. Like it's ice cream. Right? Oh no. Uh, Kramer says, Lumine is technically a five-star character. I, you're right. I should have said Lumine. I want to change my answer to I love everyone from I love everyone to Lumine. Sherbert has dairy. Okay, okay. I have not had a rainbow sherbet in a really long time. And you know what? Crazy. In honor of you, I'm going to try and find some and have some. Because I feel like I don't really know what that tastes like. I feel like the ice creams I usually get now are like chocolate chip cookie dough or like cookies and cream. I recently had salted caramel. Uh, I had a fun Funfetti, like a fun Funfetti one recently because um, my family loves Funfetti. Um... Uh, Thrifty ice cream ra rainbow sherbet is best. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna look into it. Why are you doing this to me? Let's start from here, maybe. Okay, let's talk about everybody's favorite fruit. Since someone said I'm giving them cravings and they don't have any access to those things. What is everyone's favorite fruit? Crystal says Kazuo is my favorite character. Ah, so you like Canadian ether. Uh, I should be safe on the rock! That is not fair! I 
You should be safe when I am standing on a rock. I do not like that. Ooh, crazy says watermelon. I love uh, watermelon. Watermelon in the summer when it's in season. And it's almost summer, so it's gonna be really good. Apples. Ooh, yeah, I like... Have you had the Envy apples? Because I really like the Envy apples. Let's see. Ooh, mangoes. I really like mango, but I, I feel like I don't really know how to cut it. Or else I don't, I don't wait long enough for it to be ripe enough. And so I struggle getting fresh mango because I'm always like, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Um... Same with pineapple. Like, I feel like I never know when to cut a pineapple, so I tend to buy it already cut, but I want to be a person that buys it not, like, when it's, like, in its pineapple form. Um, yeah, watermelon is... Mm, oh my gosh! Everyone's out to get me in this desert. It's almost like I haven't done any of the world quests here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who would've thunk? Um... Have you ever had the cotton candy, or is that what they're called? The cotton candy uh, grapes? Is that what they're called? Or they, maybe they're just candy grapes? I can't remember. No, 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 leave me alone. It's like everywhere I go in this desert, people are trying to kill me. It's crazy. Those grapes are so good, but... Oh, oh no. Those grapes are so good, but my brother said... No, 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 no! No, 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 don't kill me. Oh my gosh. me again. What is happening? This kind of reminds me of the um, Incredibles music. <laughs> oh no. A ship in the desert! No, for some reason when I tried those uh, cotton candy grapes, I was like, these are so good! These taste like cotton candy! They're amazing! And my brother tried them and he was like, they taste like green grapes. Like, he just like didn't... <laughs> he did not understand the hype. He was just like... Uh, he was like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, they just taste like grapes. I was like, no! I was like, no, they're special! But... <laughs> Let's play! What if you just left me alone? Just, what about that? What about that, huh? Here we go! This feels very dangerous. Robots with their favorite fruits are. Okay, Kremen, next time I'll be like, get in on the conversation, okay? <laughs> Did y'all have those grapes? Did you think they tasted like cotton candy or just like regular grapes? Should I try going back 
to this one or is the is it gonna just kick me? There you are. There's only one fruit I can think of that I'm I'm always like a little I'm unsure of. Um What direction is this even in? Oh, it's in, I'm going the right way, okay. me when I go this direction. like liquidy inside the fruit because i don't know that i've ever had that like raw as a fruit Main, so that means you're time to shine. I love Layla. Layla is in Mobile Legends. I world. love her. And Neon Black, you might not know this, but uh, I voice the English. I'm the English voice of Layla. I'm sure that's why you said that. But in case it wasn't. Now you know, but I'm sure you do know since you said that. I'm sure that's why. <laughs> This 
This music got so sad. Oh no. Ah! No, don't fight me. I don't want to fight. Look how good we've done! Okay, let's see. What else should we talk about while we're in the desert? the other one If anyone sees the other one let me know I'll keep this close. I love the echo. That is so cool. I'll keep this close. Let's eat some food. <laughs> mm. 
No. This is very cool. What level is righted now? That's a good question. <laughs> One I cannot answer for you right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fifty! She is maxed out because she is 50 out of 50. So... Archie, I'm so glad you were able to stop by! Listen, Crazy, I love that you believe in me enough to know, or to, to, to believe that I will farm. But it's just so boring! It's just the most boring thing I've ever done! Uh, but I'm like, I want to like max her out. down that's fine solidify I just have to climb higher. I just have to climb higher. Question, Crazy, why is Eula's full name capitalized? <laughs> because you've done that twice now. Why is, why is, why is Eula's name in all caps? <laughs> like every time you type shit, Crazy. we did y'all <laughs> because Ed's user license agreement <laughs> so funny how do I leave this area So funny, crazy, that made me laugh. <laughs> oh no. 
dear. Oh dear me. Oh dearie dearie me. Oh no. I'm stuck! This is not okay! Where do I go? Ah! I don't wanna find my way out! Let me go! Yeah, I should go heal. your team besides Eula? I'm curious. Here's the thing. I really liked you having Eula on my team, but I kept wanting her to have more cryo damage because she's more physical, and I kept needing reactions from her that were not, they were not, they were not gonna come. Yalon, Raiden, and Diona. Okay. So Eula's like physical and a little bit of cryo. Raiden is electro. Yalon <laughs> is... Which one's Yalon? And Diona <laughs> is... Yalon's hydro and Diona is... Oh, nice. So you kind of have two cryos, except for that Eula's more physical, huh? That's a very interesting party. I like it. I like it. What is that? What is that? What is that really scary noise? What's happening? <laughs> oh, it's that thing again. Fontaine Archon quest, we can finally have a discussion. I completely forgot about this. We can finally discuss why when everyone was like, <laughs> make sure, remember when Farina's banner was out and everyone was like, make, like you have to pull for Farina to complete your Archon uh, party. And remember, I was like, yeah, I'll pull for Farina. But then when I didn't get Farina, I was like, I wasn't, like, devastated. I was just like, oh, no, I didn't get Verena. Now do you understand why?
I know. Oh my gosh, Henry. When we when we played the last of the uh, Fontaine Archon Quest, I cried. The chat can uh, verify that I did in fact cry. It was very sad. I did cry. Look at the moon. Speaking of the moon, did anyone see the solar eclipse? live in an area where we had the like fully darkness but my brother did and he sent me a video and it was so cool the way it got like super dark i didn't get to see that in person because i didn't live like on i don't live like on the path um where i would have but i was like that is so cool Yeah, I mostly experienced it through, like, my brother sending me videos and pictures. Ah! That's fine. Did you finish the Archon Quest? We're not going to answer your question until you tell us if you did. Fontaine is so pretty, and you know what's wild? Not everything is trying to kill me every five seconds. So, you know, the desert could learn a thing or two. Rude.
Traveler Archon party is... Does Farina count? This is the question that I have. I don't know the answer. Well, Nahida, Nahida is the Archon. Nahida's not the original Archon, but Nahida is the Archon. Remy is asleep, and his tail just started wagging in his sleep. His eyes are fully closed. That is so cute. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, okay. Phenograph says, in the other, when Hoyo posts official art, Farina is there. So, I feel like that, um, I feel like that's very valid. I feel like that's very valid. That's a good point, and I appreciate you bringing that to my attention, because I didn't actually know that. So, hmm, something to consider then. Mika says, Zhongli and Shogun's lines say she is still an Archon. The Archon. Okay, I love it. All right. Y'all have con have convinced me. So maybe I'll build Farina to add to my team. Right now, I say maybe because I need to build the, the Archons I have currently <laughs> before I build a new one. But maybe I will feel motivated very soon. should get one more teleport waypoint and then i think we should end today's stream this was super random and fun but i had so much fun talking to y'all about um right desserts and fruit <gasps> wait there is something else i have to tell you uh, Okay, so last night I started with some friends of mine who love anime. I started watching the live action One Piece. And oh my gosh, it is so good! It is so good! I have not seen the anime. I need to see the anime. And I did not read the manga, but I am loving we watched the first two episodes. I won't tell y'all anything, I won't spoil anything, but I, as someone who doesn't know the original, but my friends who I was watching with, they are like huge fans, and like one of my friends has like seen all the anime and like read the manga, like, like he knows the original, says that it's super well done and he really likes it, so I, I am very excited to keep watching it. Um, <laughs> Maybe once I finish the live action, I will go watch the anime. Potentially. But I was told not to not not to watch uh uh what's it called? One Punch Man? One Punch <laughs> I forgot what it's called already. Uh, I was told not to watch that until I've seen more anime. Yes, 
One Punch Man. I was told not to watch that until I've seen more anime because I won't get it until I've seen more anime. So. Yeah, like like my friend was saying, like it it relies on a lot of like tropes that make the jokes funny and if I haven't seen all the animes that it's referring to I won't get all the jokes or something here's the thing here's the thing I am not going to f I some of you may know this about me already so I will pretty much never watch like more than a few seasons of anything <laughs> my attention span is just not long enough for that so when I say like Oh, I'll, I'm going to watch some of this anime. I am not going to watch all of it. I will watch maybe like the first season, but then I just can't like it's different if I'm watching something as it's coming out or like with friends. But if I'm on my own, like I will not. I will not watch all of it on my own. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to drown. No, no, just no, no. Brace yourselves. Order guide. Kill joy. We just begun. Propagate. Germany. Can I eat some food? Let me eat some food. Maybe, I... Did you just make me pass out because you wouldn't let me eat some food? You dumb, rude person. Oh, wait. Wasn't meant for this world. Wait, I can't drown in Fontaine, can I? Oops! My bad! Okay, fail. No, no. No, no. Solidify. Are you kidding? Oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Gexter is pointing out that I said when we came to Fontaine. I was like, I love Fontaine because nothing is trying to kill me here. <laughs> All right, that is a good point. That is a very good point. Um, Mika, no, no, I am not saying I'm going to make it through a thousand episodes of One Piece. I am watching the live action. I'm going to watch the episode that is out of the live action. <laughs> And that is all that I am committing to. Oh, I just passed it. That's so funny. But it made me think of the other anime that I was gonna try and watch. Oh my gosh, we did it. Okay. Well, let's end in the desert because we were mostly there. Just revive Venti. <laughs> I did not finish 
fruits basket and here is why because the people who recommended it to me were like no fruits basket is super cute there's nothing sad because y'all know i do not seek out sad things and almost immediately i start getting this sinking feeling that things are sad she's like and i don't have any place to live anymore i was like um hello uh so i did not finish <laughs> But I'm gonna try and go back eventually. We'll see. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I was like, <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, yay! Okay, well, next week I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we'll do a character story quest. Uh, I was kind of hoping to have someone maybe pop by tonight so I could test my setup. Because remember last time I tried to stream with someone, my whole streaming setup crashed. Um, I might try and test that this weekend or something. Otherwise, we'll just do something random. Or maybe we'll do a story class, but it'll just be us. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the end of the stream. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out, y'all. If you haven't checked out the Best of 2023 VOD, please do. I think it's very cute and funny. Um, Crisp did an amazing job editing it, and Archie and Star did such wonderful, cute, adorable animations, and the thumbnail is just perfection, uh, and Star made that, so it's just great. I really liked it. It's so cute, so I hope that y'all enjoy it. Um, and yeah, I will hopefully see you next week. Oh my gosh, Glenn, thank you for the donation. Oh, Remy's awake now. That means Remy gets a treat. Oh, Glenn says, because it's National Pet Day. One more treat for the dogs. I love it. Yes, okay. Remy's treat. And then Baby's treat. Baby did not even get close to catching that. I did not try to throw it to Remy because Remy is recovering, so I just sort of tossed it like lightly on uh, uh, next to him. I tried to throw it to Baby, who opened his mouth and turned the wrong direction. We love, we love Baby. He is the size of a miniature horse, and he has one brain cell. <laughs> Um, so yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I do want to thank all my wonderful mods. Thank you to Xander and Crammon and Crisp and Crazy and Brandon and Archie. And a special thank you to Xander for the wonderful time codes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, thank you, everyone. I said this in the Discord, but it's very true. Like, I honestly would have given up on streaming so long ago if it wasn't for you. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me um, every Thursday. I know it's been a little sporadic, but it's because I've been traveling to conventions, which is so amazing. Um, this month I will be traveling um, a little bit. I'm gonna miss one week this month uh, for family stuff, but then next month I will be in Liverpool, so I will miss another uh, maybe one or two streams for that. And then um, hopefully I'll be back at it every Thursday. So we will see. I am hoping the April Among Us is gonna happen. So please send out all your positive energy so that we can make it happen. Um, and yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you so much, all of you, for being here. Please go check out the um, best of 2023 video if you haven't already. And um, maybe leave a nice comment if you feel like it. That would be amazing. <laughs> Okay, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> My Streamlabs was like, okay, wrap it up. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> Jake, thank you for the super chat because you super chatted more than $5. The dogs will get a treat. <laughs> That was so funny. Streamlabs is like, let's move, girl. You said goodbye six times now. Move on. Um, that was hysterical. Okay. There, those are for you, baby. Um, that was so funny. <laughs> YouTube was like, you're done. You're done. You said goodbye. Um, oh my gosh, Kravin, thank you for gifting five members. 
memberships. Everybody say thank you, Craven. Thank you, thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you, Craven. Um, and yeah, this is the end of the stream for real this time. But yeah, if you feel like leaving a nice comment on the best of 2023 video, I would appreciate it. And my wonderful mods who worked really hard on the animations and the video editing, aka Archie, Star, and Crisp, I'm sure would also appreciate it. Uh, maybe if you feel like it, uh, you can say your favorite uh, clip that was used or your favorite editing moment or your favorite animation. Uh, but no pressure if you don't want to. Also, like and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> and yeah, okay, this is the end of the stream for real. Uh, hopefully OBS doesn't just kick me off. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you again to my wonderful mods. Thank you, Craven. Oh my gosh. Thank you, thank you. All right, I will see y'all next week. Hopefully I will have figured out what we are doing before we go live. Who knows? We'll never know. Okay, goodbye for real. Good night or have a good day, whatever time of the day it is for you. All right, bye. Is it the end of the stream? Or will the stream magically restart itself again? We'll never know. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.